Welcome everyone back to the channel. My name is Gary. Uh, today on the farm we just got a small project, but first we're just going to test the sound on this camera and see how we're doing. We don't have much wind. Our new valve, replacing the one that was leaking. As you can see it looks just like it. It's got the same little nut on it. It's got the little washer. Uh, the other washer had deteriorated so bad that uh, that's probably our fuel leak was just that. But we're going to go ahead and put the whole thing on, get the hose on. Luckily, the, the new valve came with a new gasket on it. So we're going to screw that in, tighten it up, and then get our hose put on here. All the fuel is out of it, so it don't have any fuel in it right now. All right, let's see if we can tighten that up a little bit. Let's get us a wrench. See what size that is. I know I'm supposed to have all this stuff laid out and be prepared, but uh, we're just going to do it this way. Okay, got that turned off, got our valve on. Now let's change our hoses out. And that hose is about as stiff as it can be. I'm gonna put a little slip -em on them so Maybe it'll slip it on there a little easier. Got that one on, and then it goes on down here. Get some of this stuff out of our way. Well, it's a good time to check the air cleaner. It looks pretty good. not a hard project I think we got it on there looks like it that ain't much of a clamp is it that little spring thing All right, got that on there. Let's put this air cleaner back on it. That'd be a way it catches on the bottom somewhere. Oh, it's got one of those things on the bottom too. It just wasn't on it. All right, let's check the oil in it. Let's make sure it's got enough oil in it. Got plenty of oil in it. Now I guess for the real test is to uh, pour some gasoline in it and see what kind of mess we make. Well that little valve wasn't that hard to change. Climb up here and put some gas in it. <laughs> I 
New safety lock gas cans. We're just going to put a gallon in it and see how it runs. We ain't going to fill up the whole thing just in case it leaks. All right. Hopefully, I don't see any leaks tonight on either when I get down. sign of fuel. Let's turn the flow on. Carburetor. I assume that's the choke. Yep, that's the choke on. I've got a couple of labels up here. It's got a pull start, but uh, it's got an electric start too. And somebody's had the cover off in here. We'll have to see why that cover's off. But uh, we're going to crank it up and see if it's going to run. It's got an electric start, but I don't have a battery, but I got a jump box. We're going to try this jump box on this thing. All right, this is a booster pack for a car. I'll hook red up to red. Black to black. And let's see, we got the fuel turned on. Is it got a primer? Let's see a primer. Let's see if this thing will start. Look at that. Got to try it out. Okay. That may be the easiest thing I've ever fixed. This is one of those items, a generator, that uh, it's like you hope you never have to use it, but you want to have it on hand when your power goes out, because this will keep my refrigerators going. I'm going to try to wire it up to where I can plug it into my water well so that we can keep uh, water coming into the house. But uh, last year and several other times we've had electricity go off, and you know we've got too many animals to take care of. We've got to keep the farm going. So this is going to be one of our new additions. We're going to put it in storage. And like I said, hope that we never have to use it, but uh, we're probably going to do a little more cleaning on it and get it put away. Okay, as you can see, I was working on this out of the uh, bed of the pickup, and I had somebody help me load it in the bed of the pickup. I'm not going to pick this up by myself. My back won't let me do that anymore. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do it the farmer way. We're going to get the tractor and get it out. It's a whole lot easier than using my back. Let's see how close we are. I don't have a spotter right now. No, that's not too bad. Be almost perfect if the bucket wasn't bent. 
Let's see if we can get that in there. Might get us a small chain. It ain't going nowhere now. Now that was a whole lot easier than using your back, wasn't it? All right, that's the way you do it on the farm. That way you save your back for the next item. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>